I think it's fair to say that when Disney released The Lion King in 1994, it was something of a roaring success. Apologies for the terrible pun there, but it was a huge success, and of course it did spawn a huge merchandise in line. As part of this, Mattel picked up the license to produce a toy range. So today, on Flashback Friday, I am going to take a look at the Mattel Lion King action figures and play set that came out to accompany the film way back in the early 1990s. And the first thing I think you'll notice about the box art is that obviously they've used uh, photography rather than actual artwork, but they have sort of combined the two because the background is sort of painted there. Uh, I think it looks really bright and colourful and really sells the playset. Uh, the reverse of the packaging, you can see it again, it's just photographs there with obviously a child uh, having a great time, uh, but they've just gone for a flat green screen behind it. Okay, so looking at the playset itself, when you first assemble it out of the packaging, it doesn't look too impressive, it's not particularly tall, uh, but it is quite colourful, and it has some hidden depths. One of the things that's really nice about this playset is that it tries to capture several environments from the film, or en encompass them all in one, which is great. Uh, there's lovely things here, like from like the elephant graveyard, like the skull, that's a removable piece, and it just looks fantastic. Likewise, you get some additional, uh, an additional skull there, and another one that's actually built into the playset that actually features a, a mechanism. So let's see what it looks like when we add some characters into this. We've got Simba as an adult, Scar, Mufasa and Pumbaa, young Simba, Zazu, Timon, and of course, the hyena. And when you see them all together, it really brings the playset to light. As I said at the beginning of the video, this does incorporate several moments from throughout the whole film. So at the beginning of the film, we see Simba being born, and the top of the playset recreates Pride Rock, which is going to be important for the beginning of the film and at the end of the film. Uh, so we can have Simba playing up here at the very beginning, but the top of the rock also turns around so that we can see the, the, the tree of life where he's sort of engraved at the very beginning of the film. And of course this allows children to recreate those very early scenes, which is fantastic. And here we have Mufasa, who obviously anoints Simba at the very beginning. So I think this was a cool touch to be able to turn the top of the rock round to have yet another scene created in there. I think that's, you know, definitely giving you value for money and helping with the imagination. Um, a lot of the figures have these action features. So here's Mufasa here. You touch the back of his head and it makes him, his arms move up and down as if he's walking, which is really cool and quite fun. The base of the playset uh, allows you to recreate the elephant graveyard scene. And there's actually quite a lot of texturing here, um, and they've put a lot of effort into actually recreating the sense of, of dread and mystery that goes into that sequence. Um, you can, of course, obviously bring Zazu into this moment here. Um, but there's a cool little extra feature here that if you touch this rock, it creates a bubbling effect, um, which I think is really cool. It creates that interactive element, which is really fun for kids. Uh, and it definitely, you know, adds something extra to the playset, which is great. Um, so of course, you know, kids are going to have Simba being chased uh, by the hyenas, as happens in the film. Um, but there's an extra little feature here where the hyena can press the skull down and it flips the trap so Simba is caught. And once again, we have one of those actions there. So again, push, pushing the back of the neck creates their, their legs to move up and down and create that laughing effect as well. Um, some of these bits and pieces, these skulls are removable. Uh, so you can take them away um, and create a bit more space for your characters to play in if you want. And if you're willing to suspend your disbelief a little bit, <laughs> um, you can also utilize this as a sequence where uh, Timon and Pumbaa meet uh, Simba as well. And again, Pumbaa has an action here. If you push his tail up, his mouth opens, so he's burping or whatever you want. And uh, it, it's quite a cool looking figure. Timon, sadly, is just one piece. But both Simba and Scar have action features again, so they see the mouth roaring and the legs clicking forwards. Uh, and the Scar has uh, a nice detailing on the eye there, uh, some of the paint apps are really good, and again, has that moving action, which is fantastic. And we can now use Pride Rock once again for the finale of the film. Uh, spoilers for those who haven't seen it. Um, where obviously uh, Simba and Scar have their final confrontation. Um, which, you know, I think is great. Again, it creates that versatility in the playset and really it manages to get some key moments in the film reenacted. And overall, you know, having this playset as a child, I, I, I love this to, to bits. Um, I thought it was such a lot of fun. Um, it, you know, it's incredibly toyetic. I th think the figures are great. Uh, you know, I think Mattel have done a fantastic job uh, bringing these characters to life in, in, in action figure form. The playset is wonderful. It's for such a small playset, it's quite versatile. It captures all the key moments in the film, really, that you're going to want to, you know, reenact in play. And um, yeah, I think it just did a fantastic job. It's colourful, it's playful. And just seeing it again and, and open it up out of its box brings back a lot of happy memories for me. 
So, did anyone else have this? Please do leave a comment in the comments below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you had one or if you wanted it and never got it. Or whether there was something else in the line uh, that they did that I didn't have. Uh, be happy to hear your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do give it a like. Uh, and remember to subscribe as I'll be posting more videos soon.